Hey guys, welcome to Craft Time. Today we're going to be making a swirly yarn coaster. So for this one you're going to want some really colorful yarn. And so I have this one that kind of like gradually changes colors. Um, if you don't have that then I would just get, um, I think it's the thing I'm following said you could do just get a few different colors of yarn and then um, kind of cut one each length of that in the different color. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and you want six arms length of yarn. And so that means you hold your yarn, let me show you, and you hold it out as far as you can reach. And you want six of those. And so then once you get it to one end, you pull it back to the other hand and then just do it till you have one, two, three, four, five, six lengths of yarn. Um, once you've done that, it's gonna be really long and you're going to kind of let it all out and then bring the two ends together. So let me show you. So find the two ends. So there's the first one. And then here's the second one. Bring those two together and then straighten it out. Then once you do that, you'll get, grab the kind of end that's folded over like that. Bring it together with the ends like that. Straighten it out. All right. So once you've done that, um, we are going to tape down this end that has the two folds. So let me get that. So the ones that have the two kind of the folded in, you're going to tape that. So I'm going to actually tape it to the table. So me end up backing up pretty far. I'm just going to put some tape like that down. Tape it to the table and I'm gonna screw on back. All right, and then you're gonna twist. So there's four strands, right? So you're gonna twist to grab the two and two, and then you're just gonna kind of twist it over each other. So this can get kind of tricky just because it is such a long <laughs> piece, of, piece of yarn. Um, and so I hope you guys can see I'm just twisting, twisting. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you don't want it to be where you end up where you haven't, at the end, you haven't done anything really. So um, we're just going to twist that. I will say too, we're going to use a hot glue gun. So you just want to make sure you have that kind of like warming up and ready. And then we're also going to use a piece of felt. And so I picked a pink that would kind of go with the color in my yarn. And then of course we'll need scissors if you don't already have those out. So this may take a little bit, so let me kind of go a little quicker. This is already super pretty looking. So yeah, if you can find the yarn that's like already kind of gradually changes colors, I think that would work the best. I feel like I'm twisting unnecessarily, but I'm kind of twisting it to make this faster. I'm like running out of room to back up. Yeah, mine's kind of already twisting on the part I haven't done yet, but All right, 
Okay, and then you're gonna take this end. I say that, let's see. And I think we're gonna tie a knot in it just so it doesn't lose the all the twisting we just did. like that and then I'm going to glue the taped part in the very center of my felt. Um, it's probably not going to need that much space but I'm I want to make sure I don't run out of room so I'm going to kind of just put a little piece a little spot of glue there and get that started. And kind of what you're going to do, I just burnt my finger. Um, so yeah, you need to be careful because you're setting the yarn down in the glue. Um, so I have it just in the middle and you're going to kind of twist it around. Maybe let me do a little bit and then I'll show you. And I feel like mine. Already kind of disappointed in my twisting of the yarn, but I can always make another one if I need to. I'm trying to show you a little bit of it. Okay, kind of like that. So you're just making kind of a swirly pattern and going around and around and around. Um, I think it helps if it's really tight. So like mine, I feel like my yarn is, it wasn't a really tight, tight twist that I did. And so um, it looks kind of floofy, but it'll be okay. More glue. I'm trying to show you, but I don't know that I, can do it. I'll just keep giving you updates. Here's an update. It's really pretty. And I think if you can get it, the yarn twisted nice and tight, um, it'll look even better. Probably be a little bit sturdier too. And you guys have probably noticed at this point in how many craft videos I've done, but I don't practice a lot before I do it, mainly because I don't want to waste supplies. Um, so you guys are really getting my um, live feedback about how this is going. I kind of look over to see what I need to do, but I don't test a lot. Because otherwise I end up just making double of things that I don't need. So my did not do a good job, Tristan. That's okay. It's all falling apart. I'm going through this glue real quick.
It's mostly on my hands. I'm trying to keep twisting it as I'm putting it down because mine started to unwind. So I think when you're twisting, you just need to make sure it twists really tight and have enough space for you to keep backing up and working on it. All right, I think I'm about out of glue, so I'm gonna Gonna wrap it up so I can show you. All right, and threw it on the ground. Okay. Um. All right. So. That's what it looks like. And so you have a little tassel right there on the end, but you can tuck in more if you would like. And then we are gonna trim the felt. Um, I'm actually gonna try to do another one and show you what it's supposed to look like. Um, Cause I don't want you to be deterred because this one looks goofy, but. rough cut of the felt and then go back and trim it. And so you just want to trim the felt so it's kind of underneath um, your yarn that you've twisted um, and it doesn't show a ton on the outside unless you just want it to. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna have trouble with this one because I the glue got kind of wonky at the end. So that's what it looks like. Um, and so pink on the back. And then if you twist this really tight, it'll actually not be too floppy. Um, it'll be a little bit sturdier. And so, um, but I hope you guys enjoy doing this. It doesn't take a lot of supplies and it's really cute when it's done. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoy.